Um, is that on your Facebook? Because I don't think I have that picture. I was like looking through trying to find decent pictures to share. And I don't recall coming across that one. Okay, yeah, I'll have to, you know, stalk your Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I think the more time passes since that happened, the more I question, like, how that all worked out so well and how... How A, I thought that was, like, a reasonable thing to ask someone and how B, you were, like, cool with it. <laughs> I'm supposed to just develop this bishop, right? Well, it is hitting his pawn. Okay, well, this bishop is not having a happy time on the diagonal anymore. F4, since Squirrel wanted me to play the bird. Double fee in Keto because this diagonal is a little iffy. Man, I wish I knew some theory here. I guess just E3? I don't know. E4? Maybe E4 makes more sense. Okay, I guess, well... Yeah. I guess I'll play E4. Whatever. Play the best move. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> ah, good one, dead dude. I, I'm i probably not, not going to kill any birds with any stones in this game, because I don't know what I'm doing. And how's it going, guy, in the chat? Man, now I have to defend that pawn? That wasn't part of the plan. Here? The bishop's not doing anything yet anyway. I guess here. Yeah, you'll have to catch the VOD guy in the chat. Um, pin it? I mean, I don't think trading off this bishop for the knight is the most horrible thing because it looks like all my pawns are going to be on light squares this game. Yeah, well, it's just, I don't know. Computer will hate it, but that just makes it more fun. Yes, and I get to mess up his pawns. Yeah, who cares about his rook? I don't think I'm castling this way anyway. I really, I've been wanting to just, you know, play moves that led to f4 at some point, and I think I've succeeded in that. Wow, okay. That sort of makes that a a tempting spot, but I guess I shouldn't hang this pawn.
that feels like not a good move to me, but I don't know that I can prove it just yet. So F4. Castling early, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do it. Look at this bishop. What a fool. Challenge. Challenge received. Yeah, I can skip this track. I, I usually skip it. I'm not a big fan either. TSGB. I'll play you next TSGB, but I'd really prefer if we had an increment instead of 10 0, if we could do like 10 5 maybe. Um, I think that was from Star Fox Adventures. It's not Chrono Trigger, because I don't have Chrono Trigger music. Maybe I should have taken there first, I don't know. Actually, I do know, I should have taken there first. Yeah, it's just standard cave ambiance. But I really want to take and double isolate his pawns, Wolf. I mean, arguably, I should listen to the better player. <laughs> now you're talking play slow. Now you're speaking my language. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. <laughs> That's true, guy in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can't disagree with that, Zaylin. <laughs> now that move I never considered for half a second ever. So he wants to just take back with the knight. Which... Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. I was going to say I could do it anyway, and then if he does that, then my knights come here. But I think I'd rather just give him a little a little push. And then take here as planned. Oh, he's also threatening this. So, never mind. Waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. <laughs> Very good guy in the chat. Um, okay, so how do I deal with it? Rook here and Queen here are like the things that come to mind, and I really don't like either. I guess Queen up makes more sense. Yeah, I like I think Queen up's better. Okay, now I can give him a push.
Looks winning for white. I hope so. I mean, this pawn's going to be a gigantic target. As will these pawns. So. Queen d2 looks more strange. Well, I liked queen d2 more because I thought maybe he would want to take here and then bring the knight back. Which actually he still could have done. So there was no reason to prefer queen d2. Rook, rook f3 though, I mean I am on the line with this bishop, so like maybe f5 is a concern. Okay, I have two ideas. Move this knight so I can move this knight, attacking this pawn, and also maybe I'll go into f5. Or just double rooks. And they all seem good. I think maybe I'll do this first because he could theoretically play knight h5 to stop that plan. Assuming it's a good plan. So that seems more time sensitive. Whereas the rooks, I think I can just double them at my leisure. I think. The reason why it hasn't played knight d4. Um, well, if I play it, I think maybe he would just take and, you know, he could win a pawn. That, I mean, I'm assuming that question was asked before this knight was here, too, but. It might be okay. Oh, wait, that's d5, not d4. Wait. Oh, but that was the square you meant, I guess. d5, yeah. I mean, it might be okay to give up the pawn, you know, he would have to give up his quote-unquote good bishop. But also, I mean, he, he could just play c6 to evict my knight, although that blocks his bishop, so it might not be terrible. Yeah, I wasn't going to nitpick your chess notation, but... Knight moves are an N, because king moves are a K. I thought about c4 for black, and I figured I'd just take it, <laughs> and I'm happy. Yeah, but the king's more important than the knight, so the knight has to pick a different letter. Yeah, the king is is strong. It bullies the knight into picking a different letter. Yeah, but you know, that's secondary Zylan. <laughs> You've been pronouncing it knight this whole time, haven't you, guy in the chat? Yeah, I thought about that kind of a line wolf, although I didn't consider bishop b4 at the end. Bishop b4 is kind of annoying. What? Really bouncing? I feel like this is the second time we've ever had this conversation. I mean, it's probably because I have a lot of, you know, people who have been playing more Go than chess and are relatively new to chess. Okay. 
I guess the Knight's coming here. I don't understand that move, because F5 doesn't really seem possible. Oh, he wants bishop here. Okay. <laughs> that at least I understand. Um... I'm wondering about crazy stuff like rook f5, g6, rook takes, but then it's like, is my rook getting trapped? <laughs> Probably the knight prefers to be there than the rook anyway, because of g6. That looks really good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna jump the knight in already. Okay, wait, one more consideration. He can come here to challenge the knight. Maybe it's time to start moving and grooving with this knight somewhere. I think I'm just gonna do this. This one didn't concern me as much. I think I'm just gonna sidestep somehow. Try to come to one of these squares. Maybe even queen f2. Oh, now g6. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Perhaps I erred. Alright, let's just go here. This also, you know, hits a pawn. So, it's something. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe sacking the rook for the for a minor piece, you know, was feasible.
Well... Bouncing across would probably play this move. like my other moves. Alright, I don't know. Let's try it. Because <laughs> you love positions where two pieces are hanging. Like, that's... That's... The, def the defining feature of your game. I suspect I'm slightly better. I mean, just looking at a comparison, like, I think my bishop's better than his. I mean, maybe this makes that an interesting conversation. I think my knight's better than his for obvious reasons. Although I like his knight on d6. My queen, I think, is better than his, but again, there's some obvious moves that could happen here. I think I have slightly better peace activity. <laughs> okay, what obvious reasons did I say? <laughs> My knight's on the third rank, his knight's on the first rank. <laughs> Both kings are a little suspicious, so that's fun. I mean, probably knight takes. Yeah, it's gotta be knight takes. Okay. 
I don't know that that was the right way forward for him. I don't know that it wasn't. But... <laughs> yeah, okay. Take here. Yeah, seems reasonable to me. Panuki's worth 70 points. That's what guy in the chat told me. And he was like, especially when you make it manually. It's worth, worth even more. Well, I think he said 70. I think it's 70. Maybe it's 30 if you capture a stone, 70 if you make it manually. <laughs> Take this pawn, take this pawn. I think I take this pawn because he can blunder. And it's I like it when he blunders. This pawn lets the rooks come in, maybe. Although his knight does hang. But he could take here. Let's take here. This is the blunder, the series of blunders that I hope he makes. And then I think, I, I think rook f4 works then. Could be wrong. I mean, I wouldn't mind. There's other blunders he could make, like, I don't know, this, or, you know, letting me checkmate him. That would be fine, too. Well, he did the thing I said. Doesn't this just win a knight? Because I'm threatening checkmate. I guess he can hear here. Hear. Okay, I'm winning something. He's also got the world record for isolated pawns. Oh. <sighs> 
<sighs> Remember when Squirrel made me play B3 on move 1? And this bishop's just been chilling on this diagonal doing nothing the whole game? Now it's, it's now's the time for the bishop to shine. I think f6 is the only move. Oh, or, yeah, or I guess doing it that way. I think I just take this pawn now. No, 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 that's bad. Don't do that. Well, bouncing, like, I think it depends on what your definition of an isolated pawn is. Because our double, like, our double isolated pawns, are they both? Oh, okay. Let me go here. That was cute, but I guess I think I'm just getting both these pawns now. Or I'm keeping my bishop. I'm fine with that too. Hey again, Metal Eagle. What's up? I'm just trying to grind out a win here. Oh, he can block with a rook. That's fine. I'll just get this guy in. Seems fine. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it's not the best for black. This seems like a good plan.
Yes, all right. <laughs> yeah, rookie seven. Yeah. I don't know, I think he could have kept playing, like maybe Rook B4 is like slightly annoying. At least in the short term. But you know, with my excellent endgame technique, it would uh I would eventually win.